Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, or if it's your first time here, hi, my name is Melissa, or Miss A. Welcome. Today we are sponsored by Monster, which we're not, but we kind of are, and also Dreamies, because I was trying to get the boys to stay in the room and not keep going in and out the door to keep the heat in. Anyway, today I was sitting having a play on this eye, and I did this eye look, and I quite liked it, and then I thought I might as well film it, because I'm going to do, I was going to do a full face first impressions. Anyway, and I thought I would definitely get questions on did I film the eye look from some people, so I thought I would sit and film it. So it is a very simple makeup look, it's not usually kind of what I film, but I thought it's still pretty, and we might as well film it. So yeah, we're just, it's very easy, very simple, very fast. Just a bit of wing liner and some gems, you know? So yeah, if you want to just play about, do some easy, simple, what I feel like quite pretty makeup, like if I had a Christmas party or something, I would definitely do a kind of variation of this. Then uh, yeah, let's just jump into it. So I'm already primed with my Revlon Candid, obviously. I don't want to talk about my brows today. I feel like I've done them in a really weird shape and they're very defined, but whatever. We can deal with it. And I went to Poundland and I found tape, like medical tape. This was a pound for 10 metres, so this is excellent for what I need. The pre-mark one, I think it's just a pound as well, but you don't get that much. This is just a bit like chubbier, but it works perfectly. And I'm going to stick this on. I'll try and get it similar. Who knows if it is actually similar, but whatever. I just gave the boys some treats. So if you can hear munching in the background, that's what it is, but they deserve them. I'm actually starting off with my Melt Gel Liner in Slate. I'm not using any black in this look, which is, it's not my style usually, but making it work. And I really feel like I neglect my Melt Liners, so I wanted to use them today. So I'm just going to do a wing. This is a great brush, it's my Sheen. Sheen, not Sheen. I think it's the zero zero, the numbers have rubbed off. And I'm just doing like, just a full wing and using that tape. And it doesn't have to be that neat because we are going to smudge it. And put shadow on top. I'm only using this blue, this like expensive blue because I don't have like a different blue to use, but you could use any bluish liner, it doesn't really matter. Just like that. And then this was a clean brush, I'm just going to smoosh it. Just a bit. Again, does not have to be neat. This is a really simple eye look. I feel almost like stupid filming it, but I know that when I go and film my full face of new makeup, which I'm going to do right after this, people are going to ask me if I filmed this eye look and, I don't know, hopefully you enjoy it. Let's keep the door shut, darling. Then I took one of my favourite blue palettes. I was going to use my Beauty Bay, but I really love this P. Louise and I'm going to dip into this very deep blue just here and run that all along that liner that we just did. This is just a little pencil brush. It's a Jaclyn Hill JH52. I'm just smishing it in on top of that liner, slightly above it. Just to start my blend. I just woke up today and really wanted to play with blue eyeshadow. I should really be filming with my Beauty Bay neutral palette, but I'm going to do that tomorrow. And then I'm going to take a Blend Bunny number B4, which is just like a little pokey one and the shade talk is cheap this like royal blue here these smaller P. Louise palettes are just fantastic quality really 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 good if you're debating them I highly recommend them and I don't usually like small palettes but even with these I feel I can do a whole complete look do you have to scratch my chair right now and then I'm taking a wee P. Louise brush, this is the 235 and the shade Hustle, just here. <laughs> Blend this at the top. Again, it doesn't have to be particularly neat. Nothing about this look is particularly neat apart from like the inner corner wing that I do try my best to like get really pointy and shiny. Not shiny, pointy and precise. 
shiny on the way in and then I'll probably just go back, back in with a bit more of that like middle royal blue. And the pearlers. Seen the Peely's advent calendar, it looks sick. Right, then I went back in with my melt liner. Where did I take that from? Like maybe here? And this is when I added this bit because I felt like it was just a bit too boring without this little added bit of pizzazz. So I'm just, yeah, that looks all right. Adding this in. Which looks terrible right now, but we'll get there. And taking a much smaller brush now, so we Unicorn Cosmetics brush, and back in with these shades that we used. And I'm just gonna do the same thing, just the dark, medium, and then lighter shade. Do you know what I mean? It's really simple. I think that's why I added the gems as well, but also I love gems, don't I? So it's never hard for me to add gems to a look. And then a bit of the medium. And then a bit of the light. What brush will I use? I'll just use this M506. It's so noisy outside right now. Can you hear all that commotion? Sometimes I forget about it just because I'm so used to the noise and then when I edit the video I'm like, gosh Melissa, you really should have like taken a break from filming whilst all that was going on. But to me it's just like white noise in the background. This is definitely going to be a slightly different shape to the other side. What can we do? We can only do our best. And I'm taking my wee pot concealer. This little L'Oreal one, it's done me for so long and I use it for everything, like carving my brows, cleaning up bad lipstick that I've done, it's anything. It's a wee Real Techniques brush, I just want to define that underneath a tiny bit. But it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I just patted that because sometimes my base gets a little bit creasy. Then I took my kimchi Pearl Gone Wild. Pearl's Gone Wild. This, Anne Marie sent me this, it came in the post yesterday. And I have to use it because it's so blue toned. And I just patted this all over. Like all over my liner that I've done. Right into the corner. Up that, right up under the brow. It's just so pretty. It's kind of like mermaids a little bit from Peaches. Because my base is still tacky with the concealer, it's just grasping onto it and glorious. And then I remembered I had another new product. This is from. Why did I just throw away the packaging? This is from Take Two Cosmetics Press Glitter Eyeshadow. This is in the shade. Emily, it doesn't have a shade on it. It doesn't have a shade on it. It doesn't have a shade on it. It's a clear, clear sparkle. Is it gonna focus just on this? Come on. Look at it. Oh, come on. Emily sent me this. And a pure jet black one. A couple others like look at that and I just thought in the spirit of me gonna do like full face of new makeup I would put this on my eyes as well and it just adds just like almost holographic beautiful glitteriness to oh I did, like out of focus can we out of focus and all the different colors see Wow! Let's do the satisfying part. <sighs> Shut up. Then, I just have random gems that I find in my drawer, like these and these, and I'm just going to stick them on the end. I feel like I've just got over my cold, and like I have another cold coming on, and I would like God to tell me why this is happening. 
This is my shop messy glue. It's pretty much dead. And I'm just gonna plonk this on like that because it dries clear and then stick some gems on. So let's do that quietly. I'll probably stick more gems on once my base is on as well because I just think I'll be able to like spread them out a bit more. And then inner corner wing, I'm never going to be able to film this but I will try. I'm going to take more of my melt liner. I don't know why I'm going to attempt this because it's never going to go well. That one goes kind of straight down. I never get these to match entirely but I give it a good shot. I think an inner corner wing just transforms everything and I drag it across that first part. Good thing is my base isn't on so I can clean this up with a bit of concealer anyway. It's a bit more dramatic on the other side and it still looks quite cool, like realistically. And then I took a white eyeliner, this is my NYX liner in pure white and I'm gonna put this on. Look how pigmented that is, up to that line that I did. Pigment and that's nuts, let me do a second layer on this side. Wow. And then, uh, I'll not use that, I used my NARS one on this side but I might as well just use my Mitro one. Pop this in the waterline where that blue is as well. I just feel like that extends it even more and gives you more of like a cat eye look or just a whole new like shape to your eye. I mean that's it, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go do my base in another video and then we'll come back and put lashes on together and then keep, add, maybe add more gems. I'm not sure if we will but probably will just so that they're more like dispersed looking I think that will add to the look but we'll do that together but I'll need to go film that other video first so I'll be back and we'll continue with this but it's very very simple but I feel like if you just wanted a wee pop of drama for like a party night or something you know what I mean I don't know it's too maybe it's too simple you can tell me in the comments anyway <laughs> okay my base is on did, did it in another video I actually did it in another video I can't see in my mirror I'm just going to add a few more gemmy gems to this look just to kind of extend it a bit more and just make it a bit more fun and a bit more dramatic because I feel like it's not dramatic enough and I don't know, you know what I'm like. I feel like if I don't do 10,000 triple cut creases and like all this kind of stuff like it's just going to be boring but I think sometimes I just forget there is beauty in simplicity as well not that this is like super duper simple anyway I'm overthinking probably doesn't sound like me <laughs> it does yeah it's not going to completely match the other side because I'm not trying to like place them all exactly the same but what if okay I mean that's fine that's what the other side looks like that's what that side looks like they're going up at the same kind of angle right yeah let's put a lash on and then I think we'll be almost dandy I am just gonna take a nude pencil and just run it right up at the base of my lashes as I don't really want any darkness there Oh, potato just did the cutest wee on. I'm going to use my new Shein lashes that I was talking about in a previous video because they are just my favourite. Just, honestly, I've never found such a beautiful lash. Especially at such a good price point. Like, 
lashes like this from like Doll Beauty and stuff will be like £12 each. Not here. Oh, see that glitter that I put on over the top of that kimchi highlight? It was such a good decision because I can see all the different colours just so beautifully. Look at that lash. That is just so pretty. Come on, put the other one on. I think we have to do blue lower lash mascara. I think that's going to be the most fun. I don't think I have one, so I'm going to start off my benefit. Bad gal bang, because it is. The wand just gives me the best lower lashes. Because it's just really thin and plastic and it makes my dreams come true. Right, so because I don't have a blue mascara, we need to just make one up. I'll use Orchid Serenity because it's very like royal blue toned and I'll just put my Be Perfect spray in and I'll use that brush I was using earlier just to save dirtying up another brush. Just coat it in it and then I'm just gonna paint it on. Oh, I'm making a big mess. I'll just have to wipe that off afterwards. Well, there we go. Fun blue mascara that I need to tidy up. I obviously finished off all my makeup in my other video and yeah, I went with quite a brown. I've done a lot of pale nudes recently and I felt like I needed something a bit darker. But anyway, I'm really happy with the eye look. I don't know what I would change. I'd maybe not put so many gems so far out, but apart from that I do really like it and I feel like in any colour combination this would look really nice, like neutrals, browns and black would look really nice or like pinks and purples as well, just whatever you want to do, like if you had like an outfit for a party, you know, kind of match it. Anyway, that's going to be all for me today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Is this kind of thing too simple? Or do I do some of my more simple looks that I do kind of day to day on my channel as well? Do let me know. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, if you want to become a Patreon and support my channel, then the link is down below. And I'm going to piss off. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye. Gosh, I'm thirsty. Amazing.